you had some voter ID problems down here. Let's talk about that first, and then we'll get to the book and all that. But you, you have a, a voter of, you did not have a voter photo ID, and now you do. Now we do. We finally got that passed, and so it will make sure that the integrity of our ballot boxes is maintained and, and well established so that the folks when they go vote they know that their voice will be heard and Dennis I gotta tell you you can either show your driver's license uh, a state ID or you can even show your conceal and carry license and that's pretty good here in Texas listen I think everybody what has happened in this country is it's tipped where people aren't buying the BS anymore they know it's not right they know it's not bigoted. They know it's not being ugly Americans. They know there are crap things you show up into this world. If you're at a drugstore and you want to buy a credit card, something for eight bucks, they say, can I see a photo ID? All of a sudden, it's bad that we do it at our border or we do it with our citizens. What's happened is the left has overplayed their hand. They're acting like we're all this, we're all that, because we want to do common sense things. Obviously, when you show up at a polling place with the way the elections are gained here and there, to have a photo ID makes the, it makes the most sense. Now, how hard was it to get through that? Did they fight and kick and scream? Oh, it was 11 hours of debate. But one of the things I don't even understand that, I mean, I can't even go into Sam's without my Sam's card. Right. So, you know, how hard can it be to take out your driver's license, state ID, or, or your conceal and carry, which most folks have. And so it really should not be an issue. But they made it an issue. I guess it makes it more difficult for dead people to vote. Well, listen, it's really bad up in Illinois, a dead person, they used to be able to vote three times, now they can only vote twice, so they've made it a lot tougher up there. Uh, Debbie's uh, website, by the way, DebbieRiddle.org, and that's spelled like Frank Gorshin's thing, the riddle, and uh, .org, though, mind you, .org. 